Lisa. I'm back at it again with another watch today. So today, here in Callie's corner, aka Macy's room. Um, here we go. So I'm filming my top 15 roller coasters. First, I'm gonna start with an honorable mention, which is Mystic Timbers. I think it's overrated, but I mean it's still really fun. So it didn't make the cut, but I think it's an amazing coaster. Um, number 15 is Top Throw Dragster. And I know it's really short, but like, it's just such a thrill. Front row, oh gosh, the forces are crazy. Number 14 is Loch Ness Monster. And you might be very confused, but I'm a big fan of Arrow Loopers. All the ones I've ridden at least have been super good. Loch Ness is just such an amazing coaster. The airtime in the back seat is crazy. It's definitely a back seat coaster. The loops are super forceful. The tunnel is awesome. It's just a great coaster overall. Awesome for being 40 years old, like whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. Number 13 is Verbolten. Verbolten is an amazing coaster. It's actually pretty thrilling. Um, The launches are awesome. My personal favorite part is obviously inside the Black Forest. The drop track is pretty cool. It has actually really good floater. I had so much room when I rode it. Number 12 is Alpengeist. Alpengeist, an amazing coaster. They're forceful, big B&M invert. Awesome. Number 11, just missing the top 10, is Griffin. Griffin is an amazing coaster. It's just so good. And the airtime you get, back row is crazy. And like, it's just so forceful and like, so photogenic. It's just an awesome ride. Number 10 is Apollo's Chariot. Apollo's Chariot is my favorite coaster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I got insane air back row. I only got one ride on it, sadly. I mean, my ride was awesome. Number nine is Maverick at Cedar Point. Some of you may think it's a little low, but I think it's pretty evenly placed. I think it's a bit overrated. Maverick's a fun coaster. My best ride on it's probably been that night ride I got with my friend. That was pretty good. Number eight is Diamondback at Kings Island. I'm wearing my Diamondback shirt right now. So snazzy. So... <laughs> If you couldn't tell, I really like airtime. <laughs> Diamondback has amazing floater. And Diamondback is just so much fun. Number seven is The Beast at Kings Island. At night, it's insane. I got a night ride with Billy on Beast. And it was just amazing. We were front row. It's just so much fun. Number six is Lightning Run at Kentucky Kingdom. Lightning Run is just a very thrilling coaster. Um, it's the most re-rideable coaster I think I've ever ridden. Um, one ride does not do it justice. I say you need to at least ride it three times in a row. Literally one-upping it is Storm Chaser at Kentucky Kingdom. Storm Chaser has amazing airtime, super fun, um, super intense, very low to the ground. It's just an amazing coaster. Kentucky Kingdom is a great park overall. Number four, Twisted Timbers. It's an RMC. It's basically Storm Chaser, but better and longer. Twisted Timbers is intense, low to the ground, amazing airtime moments, and pretty good inversions. Number three is Millennium Force. You already know I'm a fangirl. I don't know. Millennium Force is just such a good coaster, and it was actually my number one for a while. Millennium Force is just a great thrill. It's not too intense, but there's some actually intense moments. The drop's awesome. Gives some great floater on those two big hills. It was just, it's just so much fun. The restraints are amazing and the picture is so easy to pose for and just such a fun ride. Number two, literally one-upping it, is another Intimate Giga, Intimidator 305. Intimidator 305 is such an intense roller coaster. Easily the most intense coaster I've ever ridden. Sadly, I did not get any day rides on it, so this is only basing on night rides. But I-305 is just such an amazing coaster, so forceful. Front row night rides, so good. Outstanding. Steel Vengeance is, of course, my number one roller coaster. Cedar Point really, really hit gold with this one. Airtime galore. It's pretty intense, but not like, it's just so much fun. And it's just amazing. Steel Vengeance, I mean. It's pretty explainable why it's my number one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a Six Flags day. I'm Callie the Coaster Enthusiast, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!